Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on 3D modeling an elephant, an animal in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request. So very first of all, uh, let's open up a reference. First I will open up a reference in Photoshop. I have a reference over here. So as you can see over here I have just opened up a reference. And very first of all, what you can do over here is you can see the uh, different different views for this particular animal over here so you can just go over here and you can uh, match the reference you can easily match this references you can check and you can easily uh, match this references so you can try to match this in the correct way okay yes it is matching over here you can match this references so I'm going to match with this part you can match it in this way yes so it's totally matching over here so now what I can do I can just take a new file so let's go over here let's take a new file go into file take a new file or even if you want to directly save this that's totally okay over here Let's select this part. Let's select this. I'll just be selected. Let's make it a zero. Right click layer wire cut in front go to the main view right click layer wire cut again go to the main view over here select this top right click layer wire cut so I have definitely cut this. If, if you require the back view, we can take it. So first of all, I'll just put it at the center over here. And this way. I'll just hide this. Select this and this. Control T. So before we do all of this, let's again put this also over here. So select this all three, control T and I'll just resize this and I'll press enter over here. So now if I go over here and if I check this, you will see that it is uh, matching the front and the side are matching with that way. And if I try to match it front and the top, yeah it is totally matching over here. So let's do it in this way. So again I'll uh, go into this over here and you can just go into the file I'll just off this file save as over here and you can just take a new folder already you have taken a folder let's just name it as side over here and I'll just save it as jpg let's go into the front over here go into the file save as and name it as front over here in this way so you can just save it as front and side over here for now so now let's again open this top over here go into file save as and just name it as top over here and let's save this so once you have saved it let's move to 3ds max over here so now how you can Put the references over here very first of all let's take a plane over here I'll set uh, there are many methods to work with this you can even put in the background also or you can directly take a plane so for now I'll just take this as 768 by 1024 I'll just take this size I'll just resize it so the original size of the plane was 1024 by 768 so I have just taken up the size of the image 
which I remember. So I'll go into the material over here. Press M. Go into the material editor. And let's go into the diffuse. And let's take that references. So go into the bitmap. I'll go inside that. So let's take the front view over here for this. Now I'll go over here into the side view over here. I'll just set this to 90 degree and I'll press shift and rotate it to 90 degree over here. Press M. Let's take a new slot, go into the bitmap and let's take this reference over here. So now if you see this, this looks like this over here. So I can very first of all flip it in Y axis and make this as right over here and again I'll go over here and I'll flip it in X axis. So you can do in this way. So I'll flip this stuff in this way. So now let's again go over here. Press shift and again rotate it. Take a copy of it. Now you need to see that it is uh, coming down on the plane. So where exactly it is like uh, we need to manage it till here yeah this is a correct it's not on the ground so if you see because we have some space so I'm not pushing it till down over here Oops. now go into the material let's again go into the bitmap and let's just take a top view over here so you need to see that you are matching it correctly. So I think it's not matching. We need to see it properly. So how we can start up? We can start up with a box over here. So let's start with a box. So let's just take a box over here. First let's put a box. So once you place up a box you will see that. Uh, how it's going to work so I want that this should be at the center in this way and if you look at the top it should also match in this way so after you take a box over here let's go to the side view over here and let's put some loops over here so you can add some loops over here so once you have added this loops let's just convert to editable poly so select this and you can slightly just adjust this in this way okay so we can just adjust this so before we put this let's again go over here and let's put one connect to just adjust it in this way. So you can just adjust this loop in this way. So let's select this press alt and x. So you cannot see from the front just because of this reason but we are trying to adjust it in the correct way. So let's go into the side view, you can just push it in this way. You can start in this way. So now let's again select the polygons and let's again extrude it slightly. 
slightly extrude it. So once you extrude it again, it has to be matched over here correctly. So I can slightly just adjust it. So let's first save this uh, file over here in the drive. So many of them are facing the difficulties while putting the references over here. So this is a way in which you can utilize it. So again select the polygons. So let's select this polygons over here and slightly just extrude it till here. So drag this and this way drag it over here. So let's go to the back part. You can just shuffle this. If you want, uh, you can put one loop over here. So let's just put one loop. Let's give one connect. So, so that would be easy to manipulate this part correctly. This part, this part will go down. You come here. and this part should go inside all right so you can select this you can just delete this if required We are understanding this part, how it's going to work in this way. So the same way, we are going with the leg part over here. So let's just extrude it, scale it and push it down and make it more straighter push it inside so we can just slightly I can just push this back push it back so select this polygons scale it this way so select this vertices and drag it inside all right can just select this polygons over here and you can see we need to shuffle this whole thing inside for the leg part this looks much better select the polygons
can adjust it in the correct way and then you can just go to the side and you can extrude it down so before you extrude it down you need to uh, rotate it slightly you can scale this to make it in the correct form and definitely adjust it okay so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.